Hey guys, welcome back from Classic Work. Got another good little project for y'all today. This is a bushing for, I think, this is either for a hydraulic cylinder on an excavator or it's for the mount for a hydraulic cylinder. That's what it looks like. This one too. And we got to build two installers. So, this is going to be a quick little video, I hope. Nothing too fancy on how to build an installer pretty much it ain't much to it but it may give y'all some ideas in case y'all want to build some of these for yourself ideally you would want to start with a piece of shaft material instead of just flat plate but let's face it not all of us have access to a lot of shaft material so this is your next next best bet is uh, just get you a piece of one inch or even three quarter flat plate and we're going to bore a hole in there and put this on an arbor and turn it down to the right size. So stay tuned. It should be good. Okay, we got the hole drilled out in our piece now. So, this is inch and five sixteenths uh, for inch and a quarter rod to go through it pretty much. But we're gonna go ahead and get this dude indicated in and everything. I've gone ahead already. This is an arbor I've used for quite some time now just for making these. Don't mind the slot. That was for a different project. But, uh, it ain't got to be something that's, you know, 100%, you know, indicated in. It's pretty close. I think it's within, uh, it's, it's not as close as I'd like. But anyways, cool thing about running Arbor is you can do multiple uh, pieces. So you get down with one, you can slap another one on there. And there's a burr still in this hole. I want to clean that out. Actually, I might can flip it over. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So, anyways, got nothing here but a threaded hole here in the middle. We got a stack of washers. 
that goes on here. Well, lose half of them. So, this is typically how I do this. And I know somebody's already down in the comments right now saying, hey, what about that's a square object? And you're going to cut it on a lathe, and yes. Um, ideally, you would want a slug of material, like shaft material. But from where I am in the neck of the woods, that's a little hard to come by. So that's why we're using plate. And I've tried cutting the ears off and getting it to a more manageable piece and everything. And I'll be honest, this is probably the easiest way to do it. It takes a little bit more time, but it's, you know, 15, 20 minutes extra work. So not bad. It don't take long. But anyways, I'm gonna bring the tailstock up. If you use a cap screw like this, you can use your, your live center and your tailstock to support it. And uh, trust me, you're gonna need all the support you can get. Give her a whack. So I made a couple of passes, just checking everything out. Dial in sixty thou. And that's carbide I'm using, as long as you don't get too frisky with your cuts, you won't break the tool. Granted, that's really hard on that carbide. Uh, it can handle it. We just keep chipping away at it. So, uh, just to show y'all what we're going for is here's our piece, this is our bushing, here's the puller, I've already made one, It's nothing to it, nothing but a step with a hole in it, and uh, it's turned under, like 40 thou, so it's got 20 thou on each side, so you have the most support without it getting caught in a hole. And the, fit is somewhat loose. There's not much gap. I don't know if you could even see it. You can tell there's not much gap in there. There's 20 thou on the inside. So that's basically what we're making. Should be fine. Container. I like it started in there good.
you tell them to go in at? Well, they were looking that close. I got you. Probably about 10 or something. 10 times? Maybe 15. I got you. How good is this go here then? I think so. That looks slick. Oh, you're good. You gotta work, man. I'm just here for the ride. That's the start. It was going real easy. Huh. 